Hi guys, I'm Lauren. Welcome to my channel. It's good to see you guys today. Thank you guys for popping on in. Um, today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to DIY a little shelf and then we are going to go through and find some highlight loving plants because this window over here gets bright direct light afternoon light. So only a certain, only certain kinds of plants are really going to love that. We're not going to want to be putting, um, you know, the peperomia aren't going to really fit there very well. So I'm going to have to kind of go through and figure out what's going to work there. And I would like to take you along on that journey. Oh, also, thank you so much for watching every single week and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. It's so wonderful to see you guys. And it's so awesome to be able to share plants with you guys. So thank you very much. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get into the planty awesomeness. So here I have an old part of a twin bed, <laughs> just kind of pulled it off. It's one of the side slats that held like the bed together and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix all of the holes. It's white on both sides. It's got white on the end. It should make a good shelf. I've just got to fill these holes in and it should be good. Um, yeah. So I'm going to stick these brackets on these corner brackets and they're very sturdy. Um, I don't feel like they're going to fall apart or anything. So these are the brackets that I'm going to use and I'm just going to screw them into the shelf. And then hopefully they can screw into the wall and hold up. So here's how I'm going to be screwing the brackets in. I made sure that the back that doesn't have any white on it, the unfinished back is where the part that's going to go up against the wall. And the front part here is what's going to be facing out. And I'm just going to use a screwdriver and make more holes and screw these in with the screws and fill in all the other holes. And then I got that all screwed in now, so I'm going to go ahead and hang it up up here. Hopefully it'll fit. It's not very even. <laughs> this house is old. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put the shelf up here. And I hammered in the uh, here. hammered in these drywall anchors so I hammered in the plastic bit right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and hang up the shelf and screw and it's gonna pop open like that and anchor the whole thing I did go through a couple of these plastic thingies the tips popped off of them but it ended up working out okay so then um the top part's actually a stud, and then the bottom part is actually an anchor. So I'm just gonna use these on both and get it all hung up there, all the way across. And hopefully it'll be stable enough for some plants. We shall see. That's the plan, guys. So I will let you know. <laughs> Check back in a bit. All right, guys, it's holding up. And I'll just have to put some trailing binding plants in front of the little hooks that you can see on the bottom. But I couldn't do it the other way. <laughs> that wouldn't be on top. Uh, just because of the way it was. But. Whew. Yep. It's all good. We'll see if it stays. I kind of leaned on it a bit and tested it with my weight. And I think it's going to be good. I think it'll hold the plants just fine. So pretty stoked for that. Alright. We'll be plant styling in a little bit. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. That was that was a bit much. And I got that mess to clean up. And that mess to clean up. And that mess to clean up. But maybe we can get some of this mess up there. So, yep. Alright. Alright. Back to the grind. I did end up hand painting these and going back and doing that. I should have spray painted them before I put them on, but oh well. This is the funnest part, finding all the plants. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to set you down and then we'll go through each of the plants that I'm thinking about. I don't know if I'll put all of them on or not, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's do it. But yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, I think I picked some plants, so I'm just going to go through and show you guys. Here is a Hoya Weyerii, and I really want the variegated one, but hopefully this one will be happy here and put out lots of new growth. 
And then this is a Hoya Obovada. I'm hoping a little bit more light will make the leaves a little bit more round. And then Hoya Australis, uh, just Hoya Australis. I want it to be Elisa, but it's a Hoya Australis. <laughs> but look at the leaves, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love this plant. It's growing like crazy. I just want more of it. And we're gonna try this Trandescantia Nanook. The Zebrina loves me, the Nanook does not. I think the Nanook just needs some more light. So we're gonna kerplop that there and hopefully it's happier. I changed my mind, but here's a Hoya Weedii cutting that will hopefully grow. It's my backup one, just in case. And some little succulents. I love this little planter. So I'm just trying to root them in some perlite and hopefully a little light will help that. And this is the Peperomia um, Scandens, the Cupid Peperomia. It's variegated, but it will revert if it doesn't have enough light. It did revert a little bit, and it's been kind of struggling where it's at. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more light. I'm going to put it in um, one of the beam areas in between the windows so it gets some light, but not super direct light. And hopefully that will be enough to keep it from turning all green like this. And this is a ficus. Um, this is like the strawberries and cream ficus. It's got all this brilliant pink. It's starting to get more green. I don't know if it'll go more pink as it gets older, but I'm going to give it light. They're advertised as low light plants, but they're actually highlight plants. And talk about fossil advertising right there. And Hoya Crimson Queen, because Queen definitely needs all the spotlight. So. <laughs> She's definitely going up here. And then this is a Hoya pubicalyx. I love this. It got like a little funny mitten leaf on it, but it's grown two new leaves um, that have come out perfectly. So I'm not worried, but some more sun will make it happier. This is a Black Pagoda lipstick plant. Uh, it's really cool. It's got like leopard print on the back of its leaves. It gets brown and green. It just looks super cool. It's pushing out new growth. This is a Hoya Crimson... Oh, Hoya Carnosa Compacta. This is a Hoya Carnosa Compacta. A uh, variegata. So you can see all the variegation on it. It's really, really neat. But it hasn't done much, so more light it is. Right there, directly in the light. <laughs> And this little Peperomia has not been very happy. He's been sitting in some not so great light. So hopefully a little Groot love will make it happy and a little bit of sun. And I fertilized it too. So we shall see. I love this planter. <laughs> and again, not directly in the light. And this is a variegated Peperomia caparata. It is reverting because it's not getting enough light. So... I am hoping that the plastic bag will still give it enough uh, humidity and kind of filter the light a little bit. And I'm going to kind of stick it down on the end there where it doesn't have so much light and hopefully that'll work. you guys found this a little bit helpful and useful and this kind of inspired you to go and put some of your highlight plants in a little bit more light and get them growing good for you um yeah don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you know when my next one is up 
I'm slowly but surely working up to three times a week, but there's two more videos right here for you to watch while you wait for my next one. <laughs> if this video helped you in any way, definitely please give it a like and subscribe. We're all about the planty awesomeness here. And the next video will definitely be about more plants, guaranteed. <laughs> so I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hi guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Oh, itchy face. Oh, it's so hot in here. <laughs>